Hello children. Good evening everyone. So this is evening time and uh, recently uh, this sample uh, sample OMR came from CBSE and this circular already came and uh, let us discuss uh, the what are the things are there in this uh, OMR, OMR sheet. Many students requested me, even some of my uh, friends also, some teachers, principals, they requested me so to have an idea about the sample OMR sheet, OMR sheet which is uh, provided by CBSE. So let us discuss uh, that what are the things are there in this OMR sheet so that that will be helpful for the children and all the teachers also. So, so in this sample OMR sheet, it's given that, so this is the data of the students. So this is written central board of secondary education and uh, class 10th. I have taken class 10th, the same thing with uh, uh, class 12th also. And one thing to remember is written here, use only blue or black ballpoint pen. That, that point must be remembered. And one more thing, all of you remember that use of pencil is strictly prohibited. Don't use anywhere pencil. If you are using pencil, that will be considered as unfair manner, means something happened during the examination. So that is why don't use pencil, only use blue or black ball pen. And you can see here data, this is one uh, sample given here. This is the roll number automatically means it will be uh, pre-printed in the OMR sheet. And for every student, those who have already applied for CPS examination, so the data already will be pre-printed. So that's the roll number and it is written in, uh, what do you call, in letter. And on the date, on which day and date the examination will be there, that also will be written here. And uh, the name. Okay, and name and center code also will be there and subject with subject code. Everything will be pre-printed because we had an idea means there were some students when pre-board examination and there some students asked me, sir, we are getting 20 minutes to read the question paper and the data to fill the data on OMR sheet, what is, will any extra time will be given or not? So finally, CBSC cleared that this data of the students will be uh, pre-printed. So, uh, this is so this, is, sorry, this is center name and center core. This is subject and the student's name. And father's name also will be there. And school name and school core. So generally, if your center is in your school, then the both the place, school name and uh, school name and center name both will be same. If it is different, then that will be different. Okay, I hope this part is clear to all. And here one barcode will be there. And this is your OMR sheet number. And here you can see one box. In this box, you have to write the code number which is given in your question paper. So generally in question paper, one code number will be coming. Some alphanumerical code number will be there. And this uh, alphanumerical code number you have to write here. Okay, this is the uh, detail about your OMR sheet. And don't fill anything and don't write anything. Uh, don't write anything here. So in this part, it will be pre-printed and only have to write what? Question paper, code number. Okay, it's clear. Then here, let me go a little ahead. Okay. So here one sample is given uh, wrong method and the correct method. If you are giving tick mark, cross mark, this, this, is, this is not the proper method, this is wrong method. And this is the correct way that you have to present the OMR sheet. Okay, so next, uh, let me take this one little over. Okay, so uh, let me take a little up. Okay, so here you can see that total uh, number of question paper, total number of options is given how much? 60. So in all the OMR, 60 questions will be there means 60 options, 60 answers. That means in every question paper, maximum 60 questions will be there. And that is why for every question, for every question, you can see question number one, two, three, four like this and A, B, A, B, C, D, four options are there. One more box is there. 
So here the most important thing is that suppose question number question number one. Let us take question number five. Okay. Suppose question number five. Answer C is the correct answer. That first round you imagine or your calculation came. Option C is the right answer. Then you have to you have to what completely dark C. Okay. As the instruction given in uh, in the letter, it is given that so first you fill all the O bar. Once it is filled, then after that one box is there now for every question one on box is there. So in the box you will write the you will write the answer. Suppose here C darken, initial is C darken, and finally if you know C is the final answer and if you are confident enough, then write uh, C in the box. And if you think first initially you encircled or bubbled C. And later after your calculation you think no b is the right answer then write b with in this box i'm telling for question number five okay initially right dark and c but later you came you know c is not the right answer then you can write the right thing in the box and remember the answer what is written in the box is the final answer what you are writing, what you are bubbling, what you are encircling, that OMR, that is not matter. It matters that what you are writing in the box, that is the final answer. Okay. So that is why while you are writing, you that must be very, very careful. Now, some students ask me, sir, suppose if I am if I am if I have not bubbled here and only I have written the answer in the box, will it be evaluated? Answer is yes, because here. In the in the in the letter it is given that handwritten answer is the final answer. But in the letter also the students are advised first you bubble the OMR, after that only go for the writing the answer in the box. And besides that, you see this is uh, this is the answering bubble. You have to bubble the answers you, in this box. You have to write the answer. And besides that, one more one more uh, circle is there. And this circle you have to darken if you are not attending the question. Let me go down, down, down. Mm -hmm. wait, wait one minute. Here you can see that in sample written that darken the circle if not attempted. Okay, so okay. So suppose ah, one more thing is there, and you know that. Uh, in your in your examination some sections will be there section a section b section c like that suppose in section a 25 questions are coming but you have to attempt 20 questions so in this case suppose you know that one two three four and some questions answer you do not know if you are skipping that question then you have to this this box you have to encircle okay that this question you are not attempting then even if you are writing anything also here, that will not be evaluated. If you are encircling, then that will not be evaluated. Even otherwise, what will happen now? Suppose in serial order you are writing, on the way, suppose two, three questions are wrong. You know the, suppose 25 questions in section A, and in the instruction it is given that first 20 questions will be evaluated. Suppose you are writing first 20, and on the way, suppose something is wrong, then this, this circle will help you not for the evaluation so that the next one can be evaluated so this is the short detail about this omr sheet and let me go up okay so here also short detail is given here let me go a little up okay so here you can see one box is given you can see i confirm that i confirm that all the particular words given above are correct so what is given or it is correct and the exact same sentence you have to write with your handwritten okay in your handwriting your own handwriting you have to write the statement and you have to this is one space signature for the candidate you have to put your signature with your running hand not with capital letter okay with your running hand you will be writing so this is the detail about the omr sheet and what is necessary for the students we discussed here and remember, don't use pencil. Use only black or blue ball pen. And the detail I told you. And finally, why it is not going on? 
final one acha you can see here and this is one box this is the work for the uh, evaluator those will be evaluating this is evaluator out of how many questions uh, you have attempted when correct and the observer also will sign there and final signature okay and that will be hand over to the superintendent and final process is official process okay i hope uh, this uh, is giving a clear idea to all the students and the teachers those who are watching okay and next uh, next class onwards we'll be discussing sample question paper on physics and that will be helpful for the students to learn and attempt uh, physics questions very well okay so uh, goodbye fir milenge ek naya episode ke sath thank you good night